Mais, euh, donc, euh, je vais parler de construction. I will speak about construction of Boltman making glass of flows. It's a work in collaboration with Aurélien Alfonsi uh, from uh, Ecole des Ponts. Uh, and um, roughly speaking, uh, what we are doing is the following thing. First of all, in the first time, I will present uh, the analytical equations which describe uh, uh, Boltzmann and Mekin Vlasov equations. First thing. Second point, I will present a second formulation, which is in terms of stochastic equations, which represents somehow uh, the probabilistic representation for the equations we discuss. And in the third point, and this will be uh, actually uh, the point of my talk, I will present a new way uh, of uh, stating the problem, so a third way to state the problem, which uh, was, uh, which is inspired from uh, Raf Passiori, where uh, something which was done by Devi. So uh, this alternative way to present problems are, was already appeared in another context. Afterwards, I will speak about uh, a little bit about uh, approximation by Euler schemes uh, for such equations, and then by particle system approximations. In this sense, maybe it's uh, closer to the results, numerical results. We have no numerical results, but uh, it's approximation results. So now I, ho I hope that I can. This is better. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I think that this is my slide. <laughs> no, no. No, I am. Je suis à la fin. Comment je fais pour revenir? Attends, parce que peut-être que ça marche. No. Yes, this is the first slide. So the first slide uh, contains uh, the equation, uh, the equation which is here, which is here. Uh, and uh, this is a very crowded, heavy equation, but uh, what do we do? We want to produce a solution. A solution of this equation is a family of probability measure FST which verifies this weak equation. So you take these probability measures, you integrate it against test functions, and then you get, this is an initial condition when S equal to T. Here you have a drift term or a, a gradient term, and then you have a term of, in, of integral term, which from probabilistic point of view corresponds to a jump equation, the jump term. Uh, this equation uh, is very general, if you want, because uh, it, uh, it is nonlinear and it is of McKeith blast of type because FST, so the solution of the equation, maybe comes on in the coefficients. From this point of view, from the blue point of view, this uh, McKeith blast of type equation. And in the same time is a Boltzmann time equation because you have here the solution, but in the in the measure which integrates, uh, in the measure which integrates in the in, in this part, the solution appears as well. And uh, so this is a, a mixture of uh, these two types of uh, nonlinear equation: McKin, Vlasov, and Boltzmann. Uh, okay. So this, is, this represents uh, what I call the, the, the weak, the analytical equation the, in a weak form. Well, uh, I hope I can go to the stochastic equation. Ah, this is a stochastic equation. So uh, we can uh, rephrase this. Uh, the same problem, we can rephrase it in, uh, in terms of stochastic equations. So you have here a stochastic equation with jumps. So you have here a term which represents jumps and you have also here a drift. And uh, the specificity of uh, this equation, so 
if it would be nothing here, nothing blue here, nothing blue here, and nothing red here, this would be a, a standard, uh, a standard uh, jump type equation. But what is special is that, that L, the low of the solution, appears in the coefficients, and the low of the solution appears in, uh, in uh, the intensity measure of uh, the jump measure. From the point of view of the low coming, coming on in the coefficients, this is an effect of, tick, of type making lasso. And from the point of view of uh, the low of the solutions, which drives the, which is in the intensity of the, uh, of the Poisson point measure, this is a type of Boltzmann type uh, equation. And uh, so uh, it's not clear that you have an, a, a solution of such an equation, of course. But if you have a solution, if you have some excess T, which, which is a low here, 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 and which verifies such equation, one, could, one calls this a Boltzmann process. And the link between uh, this second uh, equation and the first one that I put as uh, analytical one is that if you have a Boltzmann process, which verifies this, and you take the low of this Boltzmann process, then, and you denote it by FS, FSR dx, this uh, probability measures verify the weak equations that I uh, consider in the first slide. This is a link between the two ones. Uh, actually, this uh, one, uh, the original equations was analytical equations, and then uh, is Tanaka who uh, initiated the uh, this point of probabilistic point of view and uh, proves that uh, the analytical, uh, uh, analytical solution has a probabilistic, uh, a probabilistic representation as the low of uh, some uh, Boltzmann process of this type. And after Tanaka, there has been many uh, other contributions uh, of uh, Sylvie Mellar, uh, Nicolas Fournier, many people who, uh, Carl Graham, many people who worked uh, in uh, this, um, in this direction of, uh, of a probabilistic representation. So up to now we have uh, two statements of the same problem because if you have one, you have the other one and the cover, so you have two statements. I insist on this because now I will, I will give a third, a third um, I have collaborator, <laughs> collaborations. I will give a, 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 another way to, to define, uh, to state the problem. I will define what I call a flow solution. This is a new formulation of the problem. Um, before doing it, I have to present a little bit the spaces on which we will work. So I denote by P1, the space of probability measures we have finite first moment. I denote by W1 of the, um, uh, the Wasserstein distance, W1 of mu and mu is uh, the supremum of all, all the functions which uh, are leaf is less than one of integral of Fd mu minus integral Fd mu. So this is a basic space. And uh, the second space I introduce is the space of endomorphism so just function phi, which are defined of, on P1, which values in P1, this is A. So there are the endomorphism uh, on P1. And on this space of endomorphism, I, uh, I put the distance, D star of theta, theta prime, is the supremum on all the probability measures of the Wasserstein distance of theta rho, theta prime rho. Don't you, you have a rho which is P1, you can compute theta rho, you compute theta prime rho, you take the Wasserstein distance and you normalize with, uh, with uh, this quantity which represents the first moment of rho. And uh, these are the spaces on which I will work. And of course, P1 with the Wasserstein distance is a complementic space and A with D, D star, it's also a complementic space. And these are the spaces that will appear in uh, all the what follows. Now I will try my, ah, they insisted to eh? Okay. Uh, now, uh, so uh, I will uh, construct my endomorphism. 
And uh, I, I, I do the, the following thing. So I take, I, I construct now a special family of endomorphism, okay? And the special family of endomorphism is the following. Given a, a probability measure rho in P1, I take an X random variable, which is uh, with low rho, and I construct this thing. What is YS T of rho? It's X plus B of X and rho, T minus S, plus the integral with respect to, pardon, I take a Poisson point measure with intensity rho here, rho dV, and I take the coefficient in X and rho, and the other coefficient in X also in rho, okay, X of rho. So I construct this, this thing here. What is this thing? This is exactly the one-step Euler scheme for the equation that I put before. I just, the equation that I have, um, that of the Boltzmann process, starting from X and goes with the drift which X, which in which X evaluates and rho evaluates and so on. And so this, this uh, what I have uh, written here is a one step Euler scheme in which I have frozen things at the beginning, X and rho, which is a law of X. So I take this one step Euler scheme and uh, now I define a family of endomorphism, capital theta of ST, which goes from P1 to P1 is the following thing. I take rho, and I define theta st of rho to be the low of x st of rho. So it's, theta st of rho is the low of the one-step Euler scheme in which I have done, uh, I have of the one-step Euler scheme with, uh, with initial condition rho. So this is capital theta. And uh, now I uh, have the, the following theorem. Uh, there exists a unique flow theta st in A of endomorphism for S large, uh, small than T, such that it has the flow property for if I go from S to R and from R to T, from S to R and to R to T is the same thing that going from S to T. So it has a flow property. And in the same time, the second condition is that D star of theta st, capital theta st, is less than C t minus s square. So this means that in short time, in short time, the flow small theta st is close to, is close to, <coughs> to the, uh, to capital theta st, which is a one step Euler scheme. And so what we prove is that, uh, that uh, we, they exist an unique, they exist an unique flow small theta st, which is which has a flow property and which is in short time uh, is um, close to uh, to the one-step Euler scheme. Uh, moreover, we prove so we have here a, a third statement. The third way to state the problem is to say, I look for, it, uh, for a, a, a flow theta st, which has these properties. And uh, we prove that uh, you know, under some conditions, of course, on the coefficients, uh, in our case, this, uh, this uh, flow solution exists and it's unique. And moreover, we prove that uh, once we have constructed this flow solution, this flow solution produces a solution of the equation, analytical equation one. And in the same time, admits the representation, the stochastic representation with the Boltzmann, we construct a Boltzmann equation for, stochastic Boltzmann equation for it. So um, this says is a central uh, result in, um, in our paper. Uh, and now some commentaries, some remarks. First of all, is as I told in the beginning of uh, the talk, this way to this new way to special way to put the problem, you look for a flow which is uh, close in short time to the Euler scheme. This has been uh, actually done uh, by Devi in uh, in the framework of uh, rough pass equations. And uh, so first thing, second thing is not written there, but it's true. 
is that uh, the idea of coupling, the, the, the effect of having on the one hand this type of uh, being close to, to the Euler scheme, one step Euler scheme, one thing, second thing, having flows, then discussing these problems in, in, uh, in uh, the framework of flows. This has also been uh, done also in the framework of um, rough pass theory by um, by Bayol, by Bayol from uh, Ren in uh, in 2015, I think. And uh, so uh, the ideas that I I put here represent somehow uh, we transport some techniques or some ideas which appeared in the framework of uh, rough pass in this framework of nonlinear equations with jumps and uh, so on. Okay, uh, the second remark. Is, uh, is the following. We do not only, we do not only prove that we have a flow solution, so a flow which is true, but we have also an, uh, an approximation of the hero in the following sense, uh, sense. If you take a partition of ST and then you construct the Euler scheme by concatenating one step Euler schemes, this is theta P, we can prove that this star of Theta, this is the solution, the real flow, and, <coughs> and of uh, Zoiler scheme is less than uh, T minus S, this is the length of the interval, multiplied by the mesh of the, of, uh, of the partition. So we have uh, also an approximation, uh, an estimate of the error in this sense, and okay. And actually, the way in which you construct this flow, it's exactly as limits of uh, Euler scheme like this. Okay, so uh, this notion of uh, flow solution appears as limit, the construction is as limit of Euler schemes. Now, what is uh, maybe a point on which, uh, which is interesting about these uh, formulations of the problem is the following. Uh, if you discuss about uh, uniqueness for the equation one, analytical equation, this is a difficult problem. If you discuss about uniqueness for the Boltzmann uh, flow, uh, X, XST, this is a difficult problem. At the contrary, here, the, the uniqueness is quite, quite natural. It's, uh, appears Saturn de soi. It's uh, very Im immediate the uniqueness. But uh, we have to understand what uniqueness means here. Because as essentially, as I am telling here, the flow solutions, the, the one in the third formulation, are solutions which are limit of Euler schemes. Of its, or it's clear that you have limit of Euler scheme is the same one step Euler scheme, you will get the same thing. So it's very natural, the uniqueness in this context. At the contrary, this uniqueness does not imply uniqueness of the equation one or two, the other two formulations, because this produces a special solution of uh, the equation. You can you have uh, existence, but you have not uniqueness for the other one. You have here a special solution that you have constructed. Uh, bon. so, uh, uh, I think that this is what to say about uniqueness and the uh, produces of class of solutions for which uniqueness is, uh, is gratis. Uh, another thing that it produces and is not bad is uh, stability. So uh, people look to the equations I discuss and we take, a, uh, we take an initial condition or another initial condition. And the problem is as if uh, you have stability with respect to the perturbation of the initial condition. And uh, what is proved in a rather simple way for in our class is that if you take initial uh, condition rho and initial condition psi, W1 of theta s rho and theta s psi, so you change the initial and you look in double in a Wasserstein distance, this is less than CT minus S, W1 of rho side. Don't you, it's, you have this stability, uh, stability property. Okay, uh, so this is say uh, a central result. 
but uh, it was to discuss also the methodology we have, uh, the technology that we have used in order to get such result. And this, this is the sewing lemma. The sewing lemma appeared in, uh, in uh, it's an important instrument in the theory of rough pass. And uh, it was uh, obtained by uh, Denis Feyel and Arnaud de la Pradel. And in the same time, in an in independent way by uh, Gubinelli. And this is around 2004. And uh, then it was an instrument in the rough pass theory. Okay. Uh, they gave this lemma in the context of rough pass theory. So uh, it's not, uh, we have to make, uh, make a variant which is an abstract variant. So I present here the sewing lemma. So the abstract variant of this song. I take V to be just a, an abstract, say, a, abstract uh, set. And uh, then I consider A of V, the endomorphism, the functions from V to V. So the endomorphism of V to V. I suppose that on this space of endomorphism, I have a distance D star, which uh, for, for which the endomorphism with this, uh, with this metric is complete. I suppose that this exists. In our specific case that I discussed before, V is P1. Theta S, the, 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 the endomorphism I work with are the theta S there I discuss. And uh, the distance D star, it's obtained as I told before from the Wasserstein distance. Okay, so this is, uh, this is an abstract version in which uh, framework in which uh, fits the, the things that I spoke before. And I denote by theta PST the Euler, scheme, the, the Euler schemes, the concatenation of uh, this uh, theta ST, okay. And now I, uh, I uh, give uh, two hypotheses. So I consider a family of theta ST of endomorphism, S than T, don't so a family of endomorphism, which have two properties. The pro first property is, is that it's Lipschitz. D star of theta P S T composed with U, theta P S T composed with U prime is less than D star U U prime. So not only theta, but only the Euler schemes of theta are Lipschitz, with, are Lipschitz in, this, uh, in this metric uh, D star, which is an abstract limit. So, and this has to be true for each u and u prime, uh, which are endomorphism of v. This is the first property, Lipschitz. The second property is the sewing property, is the following. I have s less than r less than t. And I look to theta s t, and I compare theta s t with theta s r, theta r t. If capital theta is a flow, then this is equal to this and this is zero. But generally capital theta is not a flow. If you take one step Euler scheme, you will see that it's not a flow. It's, you have an error in the... But what is asking here is that the, the error from the flow property is less than T minus S one plus epsilon. So, uh, Asymptotically, in some sense, you, you think that uh, this uh, capital theta is the Euler scheme will have the, the flow property, what you obtain actually in the limit. So this is uh, the sewing property. You have Lipschitz and sewing property. And then the sewing lemma tells the following thing. Under these two hypotheses, ex there exists a unique family of endomorphism, theta st, small theta now, uh, of endomorphism, such that small theta has the flow property and the distance between capital theta ST, one step Euler scheme, and theta ST is less than T, my, T minus S, one plus epsilon. So this is, a, this is a sewing lemma. And clearly what I have done in the previous slide when I put the result, it was to, to use this sewing lemma in the context uh, specific that I have uh, given, given before. Uh, I wanted to, to give an idea about the proof, but I will be, okay. 
I will prove first, uh, so proof of the bank results. I give a, just to convince you that we are in a good position. I uh, try to prove the Lipschitz property. So I have uh, I have uh, rho a rho bar to to initial uh, initial rho and rho bar to initial conditions, and I have to compare what give uh, theta on rho and theta on rho bar, some, something like this. And what I what I do is uh, first of all I I take an optimal coupling of uh, theta and uh, of rho and rho bar and the uh, coupling of uh, and then I construct a random variable x x bar which is uh, of low uh, p of rho rho bar of, so this uh, the optimal thing and then I uh, compare w1 of theta st rho and theta st rho bar I recall that I have to obtain that this is less than w1 of rho rho bar uh, so the Lipschitz properties is what I want the first thing is to say in my special condition theta was constructed with yst of rho this is the euler scheme we start from rho one one step euler scheme and then the other one is yfst rho bar if you look to the euler schemes and you have some lipschitz properties for the coefficients then immediately this is less than x minus x bar uh, Yes, I, I um, maybe I, I want to, to stress that here you have something which is in low bar because you have uh, Wasserstein distance. Because of the optimal coupling, I, then I upper bound the Wasserstein distance by L1 distance. In the L1 distance, I use the equations and uh, using the equation, for example, if it initial condition minus initial condition module of x bar, you look also to what happens after and you see that you have also expectation of x minus x bar and w1 of rho mon rho bar. These are, it's uh, immediate from, uh, from the equation you have for y and for, for y and for Lipschitz properties for the coefficients. And then you observe that because uh, you have optimal coupling, uh, this one is exactly the, the L1 distance is uh, the same of, as the Wasserstein distance. And you have, uh, and you obtain W1 rho minus rho bar, and you have here one plus T minus S. And then you concatenate these things and you obtain uh, the same uh, type of, uh, the same type of uh, inequality for, Pardon? Un plus t, t, un plus uh, t minus s. No, c'est oui, c'est de devant de oui 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 of course oui et c'est là c'est non la l'exponentielle oui this the one is here and the c t minus s is here so this is well done <laughs> okay and so you get the Lipschitz property. Uh, this is a kind of argument one uses uh, coupling and getting to trajectories, and uh, this is rather classical. Afterwards, I I wanted to I wanted to present you how you prove the the sewing property, but I think that uh, I am not very good to uh, the computation is very elementary actually. To, you make one step just up to the half of the interval and half step to still, and you make the same tricks with uh, optimal coupling and going to to L1 distances, and you and you get something like this: the L1 distance between two things uh, is is less than the product of t minus r, r minus s. And this gives you exactly t minus s square. So it's a small reasoning, but anyway, uh, so I do not do it. At the contrary, and so uh, as uh, one of them is theta st, the other is theta s r, theta rt, uh, you get uh, exactly that the, the difference here with Wasserstein distance is less than t minus r, r minus s, which is less than t minus s square. Here I wanted to make a small uh, parenthesis, a small uh, uh, to say 
what happens is that you look to my trick, to, to my Euler scheme, and you see that if you go from T to T plus H, this is of order H. So in time H, you is of order H. This is because I have not told in the beginning, but the equations that I have are with Poisson point measure, which has not compensated. So I have, uh, I have uh, such a hypothesis on the growth of the coefficients, which permit to not compensate. This means that I am in, uh, in, in the range of finite variation. So all I have told is the range of finite variation. At the contrary, if uh, you have the bad idea to put in this Euler scheme uh, a Brownian term, then the time is in, in time h, you go with h one over two, and, and then you will have the product of these two guys, but when one over two, that's h one over one, h one over two, this is h. And this is not good. In the solving lemma, you need h plus something. And so you hear Serate, here is not good. What happens is that this is exactly the point in the rough path theory is that uh, they do not take, they could not take the stochastic integral, just the stochastic integral, because it's something like this, which doesn't work. But what they take, they put a correction to the stochastic integral with a second uh, iterated integral or things like this, which makes that the fact that, that here you have something which is more than one over two. So this is uh, the core of, uh, the meta, uh, I apologize, I have just calculated. I have still a parameter. Okay, so uh, this was the commentaries about the main results uh, here. Now, uh, the final thing, the second thing is that uh, we uh, obtained also some uh, particle system approximation. Of course, uh, all these models appear as a limit of, uh, um, motivated from a physical point of view as limit of interacting particle system. And uh, I think I, I defined here XKI, XKI. So I think that I have particles from one to capital N, so a big number of particles. And I take a system of equations in this, actually here I do not take the equation in themselves. I take one step Euler, one step scheme. So xi k plus one, it's equal to xi k plus, plus b of x y k. And here appears the empirical measure associated to, uh, to the particle system. And this replace of course, the law of x k the law of XK, which was in the initial, in the original uh, one-step Euler scheme. So, so I put instead of the law of the empirical measure, multiplied by the SK plus one minus SK. And then I take also a jump type, a jump, jump, a jump uh, term uh, with, a, with a measure, Poisson point measure, which is driven exactly by the empirical measure. This is also instead of the law of, uh, of the law of the particle, of the one particle or the law of the solution. And uh, also I put the empirical measure in the coefficient. So I take this system, it's clear that this system can be computed in an explicit way because, uh, uh, because it is clear. Uh, if you have SKI, you have all these uh, quantities which are here, and so you can uh, compute SKI plus one. Okay. Uh, so this is a particle system approximate, the particle system which approximates uh, the solution of our problem. And the result, uh, the result of this approximation is the following. If you take expectation on one over N, sum from E to one to N of F, X i n k n k this gives you t. So you want you pardon you want to uh, to compute integral of f of x theta zero t of rho dx. So this is the flow solution. This is the flow solution of my problem, and I want to compute the integral of a function f with respect to the flow solution, and this is computed by taking the exactly this is exactly the integral of f with respect to the, to the empirical measure. And uh, what we can prove is that uh, the expectation of this term 
of the integral of f with the empirical measure minus the, the precise thing integration of f with theta is less than c over n one over d, capital N is the number of particles, plus one over n. One over n is the one which corresponds to the Euler approximation. You take a, you take a grid of step one over n and the Euler approximation one over n of the Euler scheme appears here. And this corresponds to a statistical layer somehow, which, uh, the, which takes the number of particles here. And it is power one over D. Uh, this is using, uh, this appears in, uh, in a paper of uh, Fournier Guillain uh, about uh, approximation of uh, measure by uh, empirical uh, distributions. Okay, so um, this is the result which we obtain with the particle systems. And I would like now to give a more concrete, uh, I have still uh, some here. I a more, quick, uh, more um, concrete example uh, in the case of Boltzmann, Boltzmann equation. Uh, actually, there are homogeneous Boltzmann equation. In the homogeneous Boltzmann equation, the position of the particle doesn't move. They are uniformly distributed. You have only the velocities, velocities which move. Uh, when two particles collide, they influence each other and uh, there is a change of uh, velocity. Uh, and this is homogeneous. Uh, and the inhomogeneous Boltzmann equation is that uh, you consider not only velocities, you consider positions and velocities. Of course, here X as a position, V as the velocities. And so you have a couple X, V. The, the position move according to the velocity. This is no, uh, no secret about this. But uh, what is specific in the homogeneous Boltzmann equation is that uh, the positions play a role in the way in which particle interact. And uh, the role that the position plays is the following thing. You think that two particles do not interact if they are, only if they are in a ball, if they are close. If they are close, they interact. If they are not close, they do not interact. And so uh, the specific, the, the fact that you have uh, a dependence. Hmm? Ah, no, c'est ça. The fact that you have a dependence of, on the position comes in the fact that here in the equation of the velocity, the, the, the particles collide there is an effect of the, of the collision only if the, the particle, the position of the particle is close to the position of the present particle. They are close each another. So this is, uh, say, uh, the way in which uh, are presented uh, classically uh, non -homogeneous, in homogeneous Boma equations. And uh, ourselves, we wanted to, uh, Aurelia and me, we wanted to illustrate the interest that one has in order to put together a Boltzmann effect like this, a Boltzmann effect like this, and, uh, and um, mean field effect also. And uh, the idea is the following. You do not put the restriction here. You put another restriction. You think that uh, the probability that particles uh, interact, you have a particle. If this particle is in a region where are many, many, is crowded region with many, many particles, there is a big probability that uh, they interact. At the contrary, if it is, uh, this particle is isolated somewhere uh, in the West, uh, this uh, interaction is less. Uh, and this can, you can uh, modelize this idea by instead of putting this restriction, you put the restriction that the, you, you multiply the, the speed, non speed, the intensity of uh, reactions, which uh, with, uh, with a function, which is an, an integral, which a mean field, mean field effect. I do not go in uh, uh, much. For example, here you put a Gaussian with uh, epsilon, and uh, then uh, if you have many particles which uh, are close to your particle xi, then you will have uh, much interaction. If not, uh, no. So it's something of very natural. 
But this idea was to, to emphasize the fact that this makes sense to, is not just to have crowded equation, that this makes sense to, to uh, put interactive particle systems together with uh, some uh, mean field effect uh, in the coefficients. I think that uh, it's okay for me. <laughs>